How's it going, everybody? My name's Eric, and in this video, we are going to go over everything about Pirate Ship. I've been using this service for about a year, so I feel like now is the time to actually do a nitty gritty video going over every single feature and function, how this may be good for your business, why you really should be on the Pirate Ship train if you haven't already. We're going to talk about the entire interface. I'm going to show you how to integrate your existing platforms into the, into the Pirate Ship service. We're going to talk about different applications you might use this for, things that it you might have been used in the past where Pirate Ship actually works a little bit better. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. I will put a index of some of the topics that will be covered in this video with the timestamps in the description. So if you want to skip directly to maybe when I'm printing a label, because that's all you want to see is how I print a label. Check the description. I will have an index to that timestamp and that will bring you directly to that area of the tutorial or you could just watch everything soak it all in if you're brand new to pirate ship we're going to go over what is pirate ship we're going to talk about the interface we're going to do integrations i'm going to show you guys an example label which is an actual real life example that i'm shipping today walk you through how to do a shipment super excited to share it because it actually is a really good service and the best part about it is it's 100 percent free right now i don't know if they have plans in the future to charge but i really hope that they don't there's no indication of it on their website and they haven't told me anything like that when i've talked to customer support so i hope that it stays free forever i really really do i can't say enough good things about the website the first link in the description is pirateship.com that's how you get there and we're on their homepage right now. It's got just their entire sales pitch, why you should be get on, getting on Pirate Ship. It's got a lot of the features. It's got a beautiful modern website design. This is one of the things I love about it is just the design of the website. And then down here, they have some of their blog posts, which double as SEO for the website. So they're getting funneled traffic funneled in with some organic search terms down here. You can click on, for example, the cheapest way to ship with USPS. They have a nice blog post. It's really just funneling traffic to their website. First thing you're going to want to do is create your free account right here. If you have not already, you just fill out email, password, personal name, your address, and you create your free account. This first address that you put on will be your return address in Pirate Ship. So make sure you have that correct. And right here, if you have any questions, you can chat live with somebody. They have really, really good customer support. Anytime you have a question about Pirate Ship specifically, you can open this little chat bubble down here, start a conversation. They will answer your questions promptly, precisely, and they'll even do it with a little piratey tone, like saying ahoy instead of hello. Once you create your account, you're going to want to log in. I'm going to log in. I've already created my account. Yar, log me in. Once you're logged into the service, this is your homepage for Pirate Ship. We're gonna go over every single function. So we got three different work tasks up here at the top that we can use. And then here is a history of a lot of the labels I have used or started to create. Like for instance, this one says input needed. So maybe I started creating a label, but ended up not using that label for whatever reason. And Anytime you want to get back to this page, you can just click this pirate stamp in the top left and it will bring you back to this, say you're on this rates page and you click on that and you're back. We'll start over here with ship and that gives you basically the three main options that you have right here at the top. That's what you're gonna be using most of the time. Create a single label, upload a spreadsheet, or import from integrations. Create a single label is pretty much the same thing as PayPal forward slash ship now. If you guys have used that function for a single label, if you want to, for instance, send something to your grandmother for Christmas, or you wanna mail a package to somebody on Instagram, or whatever you're doing that's outside of a currently integrated platform, if you're printing something from Mercari, and you have to manually input everything, then you're going to use the single label function, copy all of the information from Mercari, paste it into here, and then create your label, and then take your tracking, and then paste that back into Mercari, because they don't integrate with Mercari yet. But I have talked to Pirate Ship, and they said they do have plans to integrate with Mercari in the future. When you're creating a label, I really like this paste address function. If somebody gives me an address on Instagram, I can just paste it right from my phone into the website. When you browse to pirateship.com on a phone browser, it looks just like this. So it essentially would be the, the site in this kind of a mode where you have the drop downs here rather than us on the desktop, we have the fully extended mode. So I do use this on my phone as well. When you paste an address, you can paste an entire address, for example. So for instance, if I, you can paste a full address, if it is formatted correctly, 
and it will auto fill fill all of the fields below. So if I were mailing a package to Walmart or whatever, or say somebody sent me the address in a text message or on Instagram, I can just can just paste it into this field. It auto populates everything into the required fields. If it's formatted correctly, it should do it right. But for instance, if it's just in line format, as you can see, it kind of gets confused. Walmart now goes over into the company name. And then if it was say like Ross Doe in one line, it's in the address. So you do want to double check this, but if it is in this correct formatting like that, as you can see, it usually populates correctly. It's something you always kind of want to double check. Uh, rubber stamps. So this you could use just to put in extra information on the label. If you want to just have a little message or something, your ship from, you're going to pick your ship from address, the one you signed up with is going to be the first one here. And if you need to add or change that, I will show you how to do that later on in the video. I have two example addresses. So I just pick one of my addresses, example addresses. Package details, if you have a saved package, which we will, if you have a saved package in your pirate ship account, which we will go over later on in the video, you can pick one of your saved packages. If it's something that's a dimension that you ship all the time, pick one of those saved packages. You can modify it if for whatever reason it has changed a little bit. But right now we're not going to use a saved package. I'm going to show you guys the types of packaging that they allow. Box is probably going to be your most common and your second most common is going to be just a padded envelope, poly bag, soft pack, or box in a bag option. These are gonna be the most common options that you use. And they also have a lot of your common priority flat rate, regional rates, and your express rate packaging as well. You can drop down and pick those, but these two are the most that you're going to use. If you do pick the box, you get three dimensions, length, width, and height, pounds and ounces. If you pick the envelope, you get length and width, which is a very, very interesting feature of Pirate Ship. It can use this cubic rate that is actually discounted that is not offered on a lot of other shipping platforms. Certain items will get a cheaper rate. When you use this poly bag length times width rate, a lot of the times it's within the cubic rate dimensions and you will get a discount compared to regular priority mail. You can add signature confirmation, insurance, uh, and if it does qualify for media mail, you can pick media mail right here. And that's, of course, books, music, films, and, and other products that are considered media mail. Hazardous, blah, 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 you can click that. If you need a customs form, you can check that box and do the customs form. If you wanna save this package for another time, you can check that box and it will save. We're gonna do a full walkthrough of an integrated shipping item that I have to ship anyways later on in the video. But for now, I'm just going to go. Next function, we're gonna talk about uploading a spreadsheet. That would be for very specific purposes of a business. If you're getting orders via a website that can be put into a spreadsheet format, or if you're getting like phone orders or a lot of orders by hand, you can put them into a spreadsheet and then just bulk process them, create every shipping label, pay for every shipping label, and then print them all out at the same time using the spreadsheet function. Pirate Ship has a video about that on their website. Um, I'm not going to go too much into that because it doesn't apply to a lot of the people that are probably watching this video, but it's still a really, really nice function. I will put a link to their customer support talking about that spreadsheet function if you are further interested in it. Import from integrations. This one I use the most. When you hit refresh here, it imports your orders from eBay or from Etsy specifically. We're actually going to process this order later on the video step by step so you can see exactly how I ship it and that I'm actually saving money. Why it's cheaper than eBay and how it's cheaper than eBay, but we need to get all of these other functions out of the way first. Next is the rates. This is kind of a shipping estimator. It looks kind of like the same as the single label page, but it just asks for a zip code. It doesn't ask for an entire address and it's just a lot shorter. You can get a quote shipping to another country, shipping to another state, whatever, using this shipping rate quote. I don't really use this that much. Down here is reports. This is really cool. I like this. You can get a shipping report for last year. You can get the shipping report for the current year. You can get a shipping report for the last month, this month. So this would be really, really helpful during tax season. If you're using everything through Pirate Ship and you want to pull data for your taxes to get your shipping costs, this would be the place to go. Or if you wanna analyze where your packages are going, what your total shipping costs are, kind of just looking at your numbers and using that data however you see fit 
to get an idea of how you need to price your shipping or whatever. Like right here, you can see in January, I had an average shipping cost of $10.59. Domestic was nine. Average international was 23.95. So it gives you a nice little average, uh, gives you all the services of so first class, simple export rate, priority mail. It's very, very cool that they break down all of this into a nice infographic. Who are most of my packages going to? They're going to California and South Carolina. International countries. One went to the UK, one went to Germany. So a lot of really, really cool data on the reports tab. Also down here in the reports are all of my transactions per label showing that which card I used the total that was charged. Uh, next, we're gonna go into settings. Who would have thought that you go to settings? You have settings. So the first is account settings where you can change your email, your password, your name, your time zone. I'm actually in central times. So anytime you save, you're gonna it's gonna ask you for your current password. So you gotta save like that. Download settings, you're not really gonna be messing with this. You wanna leave this as PDF spreadsheet export if you want something in a CSV format for your reports or exports or you want it in XLSX, you can change that. Automatic address correction, automatically correct your address 99.9% .9 of the time. Uh, and this you can add list or gift messages if you would like. The next settings is a very important one. This is integrations. This is where you're gonna go when you want to integrate your platforms. I have eBay and Etsy integrated. I could edit, disable, view the orders or delete that integration if I'd like to. But in order to integrate, you're gonna click over here, connect a new source. And this is currently what, this is currently what Pirate Ship has integration with. Shopify, Squarespace, WooCommerce, Subly, Etsy, eBay, other platforms if you're running a big cartel site or Shopify. A lot of people are big on Shopify, so this might be really good for you. I use Etsy, eBay, and the single label for most of my personal uses of Pirate Ship. There's how you would do all the other ones. And they say they are constantly trying to integrate more platforms. I did speak to one of the customer service reps and they told me PayPal's coming, Depop, Poshmark, StockX, Mercari, those are on the list. After integrations, you're going to see payment method down here. This is how you're going to pay for postage. Um, you do have to add a credit card or a debit card. They do not take PayPal for payments. I like this because you can get credit card points if you're using a credit card to add to your travel hack or minimum spends or whatever for your credit card hacking. So you're gonna click add a debit or credit card there. If you have one that you wanna change or edit or remove, you click that. And it does allow you to buy in bulk. So if you want less transactions to deal with during tax season, anywhere between 10 and $1,000 and have that sitting in your pirate ship account and deducting from that credit rather than each individual transaction. So saved packages, this is where you're gonna wanna go if you wanna add another saved package. If it's something that you're constantly shipping in a certain size poly mailer, you can pick that it's a poly mailer. You're gonna wanna name it. You gotta do the length and the width, the ounces and pounds, and then save it, and that it will, then it will show up under your saved package settings. You're gonna wanna do that if you have multiples of something that you sell all the time or a replen, or you're constantly using the same box sizes. You do have to put in the pounds and the ounces for the saved package, but you can edit that while you're doing a shipment if you have to, if it's something that weighs different for whatever reason. Next is ship from address. Pretty self-explanatory. You can edit, delete, or create new ship from addresses there. And then tracking emails. It'll email the tracking number to your recipient if you have an email, if there is an email in there. And it will also send an email to you with the tracking. Next tab is the support tab. You click that, it opens you a new into a new window. It has a lot of FAQs and you can type any of your question right here into these articles. Like for instance, simple export. If I wanted to learn about the simple export rate, which I highly recommend everyone doing, I would type in, click on that. And then they updated a simple export rate. And that lets you know the cheapest international shipping rates from the US to other countries. And that's right here. Let you know a half a pound to Canada would go to 8.95, the rest of the world would be 11 bucks to a pound, 10.95. It's the cheapest way to send stuff under four pounds to the rest of the world. The way you activate this is you have to chat with somebody. It says right here, you have to chat with them in order to open up this exclusive rate. So you would open the chat box down here. You would start a new conversation and say, hi, can I get unlocked for 
the exclusive export rate simple export rate send a chat to somebody they will respond and then they will unlock it for you i've already done this but i think they have a automated process to where a bot reads that i want to be unlocked for the export rate and it'll automatically unlock for the export rate and just like that within a minute they're already responding to my request and enabled the simple export rate to my account and sent me to the simple export rate faqs Okay, and then after support, we have logout. That's kind of self-explanatory. It's going to log you out. Uh, collapse just makes the website look a little bit cleaner. There's not really a reason to do that. And there's two more functions that I'd like to go over this end of the day button. If you click on that, print the entire day's shipping labels and a single barcode to let the carrier scan all the packages at once. You can print all of your labels of the day all at once if you want to do that. Be careful not to get orders mixed up. You have to be very organized if you want to do that. Or you can print out a USPS scan form. This is where the post worker scans this and accepts all of those packages. And it's just like a one-time scan, basically scans all those packages into the USPS system. The other button here is schedule pickup. You can click on that and you do your pickup location where you want the pickup to be and then you have the count of the packages and you can request the pickup like that so right now pirate ship only has usps integration they are going to eventually hopefully integrate with fedex and ups as of right now it's only a service for usps which is your post office your government ran post office we pretty much went over all of the functions of pirate ship now, now i'm going to show you guys an actual walkthrough of printing a label this is specifically coming from eBay. I go over here to import from integrations. It hit refresh data. However, it's already been populated from earlier this morning. I'm gonna have to blur out some personal information, so bear with me. But in order to do this, you're going to wanna click get rates. If you have multiple orders, you can check box them. You can, I think, process multiple orders at the same time. I don't think I actually ever have. I'm a very low volume seller, so I'm only doing one order at a time most of the time, and I don't think I've ever used Pirate Ship for multiple orders. So if you do know this, this might be the one thing I don't know about Pirate Ship. If you do know, if you can do, you can do multiple orders from this screen, please let me know in the comments because I don't think I've ever done that. We're doing just this one. We're gonna hit get rates. And right here, it pulls up the address at the top. Phone number has some eBay order details eBay order number and an eBay order description. It does not populate any pictures, anything like that. Um, if you have multiple sales, do your best to take care and pay attention to make sure you don't accidentally send the wrong person the wrong item. You're going to pick your ship from address. If you have a saved package, you're going to pick that there. I do not have a saved package for this specific item. The type of packaging I'm using is a poly bag. The dimensions on this is 11 and 5 eighths by 15 and 1 eighth. So that's like 11.7 by 15.2. You can't really do like eighths of an inch on here. So I'll just do 11.7 by 15.2. Or you could round or you could round up one and round down one, 12 by 15. And it's gonna be close enough with the cubic calculation that they use. And then package weight, let me weigh the package. All right, so it's one pound, 14 ounces. I don't need to do any of this. I'm just going to hit get rates. Pulls the cubic rate, $9 shipping. And before I buy this, I would like to compare it to eBay. For you guys, so you can see that the rate on pirate ship for this type of item is actually cheaper because it qualifies for cubic rate that eBay, for whatever reason, doesn't have or doesn't offer, which is completely mind-boggling strange. eBay USPS Priority Mail is $9.69. This particular instance, I'm only saving 69 cents, but sometimes it comes out to be more than that. It totally depends on the package. It could be anywhere between a few cents. You might have the exact same price as eBay. Sometimes it's a couple cents cheaper. Sometimes it's a couple dollars cheaper. And I have seen some people tag me on Instagram with a 5 to $10 difference difference, which is crazy. The things that are going to save you the most money on shipping using Pirate Ship are going to be items that fit into a poly bag that are heavy and fairly small, and they don't fit into a flat rate padded envelope. Obviously, if it doesn't fit into a flat rate padded envelope, or it's not going to be able to go first class because it's over a pound, you're going to want to use Pirate Ship to get that cubic rate. 
as long as it fits into a poly bag in the poly bag. So that priority mail cubic rate is going to be cheaper than eBay. So we're going to hit buy label. Here it gives us a link to the tracking, some more information about it in the top. It gives us this beautiful map layout right there. You can duplicate the shipping, export the tracking label, or refund the labels. If you accidentally did something wrong, you can hit the refund button. But we're going to hit print. It spotlights this nice printing dialog right here where it's super duper clean. You can print an 8.5 by 11 if you have a normal printer on the top part of the label you can format it for eight and a half by 11 on the bottom part of the label. It does this all in fairly real time of changing the sizing. Or if you're doing two shipping labels per page, you can do it like that on an eight and a half by 11. Or if you have a four by six thermal label printer, it will populate it just like that. You can download the label here if you have to download it. You can also download it right here. If you have Google Cloud Print set up, you can click on Google cloud print and send it to one of your cloud print printers. Or if you want to email or send the link to somebody for this shipping label, you can just click on, you can click down here, copy that link, send it to them. For instance, if somebody was mailing you a package, I've sent labels to people on Instagram, sending them the link and, and having the addresses so they could send me the package. I've done it that way before, but we're just going to do a normal print up here. Hit the print button. You want to make sure that you're correct destination printer is checked, all of your settings are correct, and then you're going to hit print. Once the printer correctly prints it out, you can get out of that and you can go back to your pirate ship homepage and then it puts that order on the top right there if for whatever reason you needed to print another label or you wanted to check the tracking or you needed to get the track. If you had to look at that order for whatever reason, you could always go back into that label by clicking anywhere here and that will bring you back to the page where you can refund the label or duplicate shipping. Just check whatever you need to check. I think I've gone through pretty much everything I can think of of pirate ship. There are some funny things if you scroll down to the bottom of your login page where they have like, they have a pirate sampler here where you can have, they have the quick get started video. They also have their recommendations for scales and printers. It's kind of funny they recommend the Rolo and they do not recommend the Dymo, as you can see right here. We never recommend the Dymo 4XL. They must have seen my video. That's pretty much it. I am very, very impressed with the entire layout of Pirate Ship with the service that they've provided. There are small discrepancies in prices off of eBay for things such as flat rate padded envelopes. I notice a 2% discrepancy in eBay being cheaper than Pirate Ship, but most of the time Pirate Ship is going to be cheaper, especially if your package is eligible for that cubic rate. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other questions about Pirate Ship or this tutorial, let me know in the comments section. I will try my best to answer. If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.